Fi masul ar maite ni nuv kamei nigaidi le fauta riv on kulu of achtin tegen ar eidach as maite lishna skalin ni desh. Ta shafir yakar shini yema nur ekinstum balach atan kinish in dimtas by make yar dis borach lishna arikwin laidach lishna himplati don kinish afle. I was hoping that I'd be get, getting up today to discuss the and to, to uh, praise the minister for the change in the desh schools, but it's very hard to do that when you see the double-edged uh, way that that has been done. This decision has actually hit a double whammy on the rural schools because not only is it favourable to the urban schools and it's obvious that the Minister has rolled over to the urban lobby within the Labour Party on this one, but it's actually put a, a, an extra burden on all the rural schools who have been hit already by the cutbacks in teachers because it's increased the capitation fees on all those schools. And I'm sick to the back teeth of going to public meetings with government representatives in tears at the cutbacks that have been implemented by Rory Quinn coming in here voting for those cutbacks and now we see that this double whammy has been put on the rural schools. Why has the Minister not taken in the uh, rural desh schools in this decision? Why are we seeing more teachers going into the urban desh schools which they need and should never have been cut back and they're still being cut back in rural areas? Why has he not turned back on the one to four teacher schools in the rural areas? Why has he decreased the capitation grant? We want the Minister in here, not the Minister of State. We, I'm calling for uh, an amendment to the order of business that we ask Rory Quinn to come in here today because it's obvious that he doesn't understand the implications on rural Ireland of the decisions he is taking. We want the organ grinder in here on this occasion because this is a devastating devastating uh, uh, announcement by the Minister. People in rural Ireland, the teachers' organisations, the schools and the parents are incensed this morning. Some of the backbenchers say they're incensed. You haven't been listening to them. You haven't been on the phone to them. It's an absolute disgrace. I said around a point of clarification. Is it on the reduction of capitation or what do you want to debate? It's on the implication to the desh schools and to the rural schools and the implications to the cuts in the capitation. That's, I'm calling for an order of business. That Minister Quinn come in. Why is he hiding? Why is he not being made to talk to people? Senator, why is he, why Senator, is he Senator, going to be by press release? It, it. It's about time he came in and explained it because we had a full debate on the implications instead of pandering the, the to the lobbying of the Labour urbanites. The minister, the minister, minister Quinn has been in here many times. He's been in here many times. Senator Bachelor, please. Senator I want to point out to Senator O'Clarty that Minister Quinn has been in this House on many occasions. Senator Bachelor, not on these issues. He refuses.